Oh, another morning here in Space Engineers. Gotta get out of bed. God's sleeping in. As we take a look outside, we have traveled to the next planet. And from what I can see, we take look through our light laser turret here. And we zoom on in. I think this is a water planet. I'm not 100% sure because we're still pretty high up in orbit. We're right on the edge of the gravitational, uh, like the planetary's gravity. And so I'm not 100% sure, but from what I can see, I think this is a water planet. So that's going to be cool. We're going to go make a boat or something. And it's actually a... We're actually going to have to be here for a little while because we need to do some resourcing. As if we take a look in the inventory, if I put in iron, that's it. 0.03. That's all the iron we have left, girls and boys. And steel plate? 92 steel plate remaining. God damn it. So we have a lot a lot of resources to gather as we have uh, we have used up a good chunk. So my plan is, is we're going to take the drop ship down and we have positioned the Spectre back there ready to get carried down with us. We're going to leave the Fregna and the Cursor up here in orbit where they are safe and hidden. And then... Uh, we should be good. We can do our resourcing, gather up a bunch of raw materials. The the dropship here does have um, basic refineries, so we can use those in order to process some materials on the planet. And from what it looks like, because of the gravitational field, um, this planet should have atmosphere, so we can get some some wind turbines on the dropship get some power coming in to recharge the dropship's batteries, maybe even put a collector into the water to start getting a little bit of hydrogen back as well, and just resource on this planet for a couple episodes as we do some exploring with the Spectre. What? I think that's going to be it. Uh, you are 17 days of power. You are happy. You sit there and you don't do anything. And Fregna, how are you doing? Batteries. Two days. So, that's fine. Um, we'll probably be back before then uh, in game time. But we could the attendance of 50,000 kilometers. That's using 200 kilowatts. We cut this down to just 5,000. Oh, it's off. Never mind. It's not even running. Um, trying to see what I can do to lower a little bit of power usage. Because the battery has it as... Oh, we're only, only using 29 kilowatts. Yeah. Yeah, that's not an issue. It's just 29 kilowatts. I mean, it's probably just... Yeah, the, the assemblers aren't running, the refineries aren't running, they're just using one kilowatt each. Your detector is using two. I guess I can turn some of this stuff off. Save a little bit of power. The lights can stay on. We're good for two days. Yeah, we'll be back before then. I mean, that's like two real days. I'm probably going to be back when, in terms of, like, say, five or six playing hours for me to refuel this ship and to restock it with materials. So, we'll be laughing. But we got the Spectre plugged in here, and its dampers are off, ready to go. Gyro is off. Excellent. And, uh, we're ready to rock. And before we get out of here, of course, view from current position, we've got... Freg, no parking spot. Can't forget where this is. 
as I definitely need to come back for this thing. And I can't get any closer to the planet with a jump drive. Jump drives cannot be used within a natural gravity field, and that's only at five kilometer range. So we are right beside this thing's... Oh, there we go, already. <laughs> yeah, I was just like three kilometers away from planetary gravity. And we are going to streak in as fast as we can. Take a look here as the ship careens towards the planet. We still have plenty of time. And uh, from what I can tell, right around here is the North Pole. So I theoretically could drop there and have solar 24-7. Or I could drop somewhere near down here near the equator. Okay. Huh. Let's see what we get. Alright, deorbiting burn. Got our speed going down. Pitching down into the atmosphere. God, I love those plumes of fire on either side of the cockpit. It looks so good. Alright, we can let go of the brakes here. Coast in a little bit further. And it looks like we've got various islands in an entire ocean planet. Staying with the Star Wars themes. What is this? Camino? Is that what we're doing? I think we're doing Camino. I think that'll work for us. But we're just about to break into the atmosphere here. We're 11 kilometers altitude. And we should start breaking a bit more. Don't want to overheat as we're coming in. All right, we are well within atmosphere, and our descent is under control. We are heading for this first bit of landmass here, and it'll be our first planet, our first uh, island we get to land on this planet, as it looks like we're going to be island hopping to try to find our resources. At least this makes the seismic surveying easy, unless... Deviously, the resources are under the water, which could theoretically occur. Oh, is, it, is that is that a thing? What is that? Or is that just a surface boulder? Yeah, it's just a surface boulder. All right, brakes on, and uh, we're here. Let's go and plunk ourselves down somewhere over here on this nice beach. Oh god, come on, ship. You don't like it when you have the specter on the back. I understand. It's a little wiggly. It's a little hard to fly when you've got some weight on your butt. But please don't. Please don't flip on me. And we have touchdown. Hey, we made it. And I do not need my suit for this. Hey, yeah, baby. Another planet conquered. Bring the spectator camera over here. We are on the water planet. <laughs> okay, so let's go see what kind of resources this planet has, as this does have its seismic surveyor. So we're going to detach, turn on our dampeners, catch ourselves there, and go and plunk ourselves down into the sand here and see what we have in store. Uh, da, 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 five. Give me a scan. We have iron, silver, magnesium. Oh, yes! 
yes, I can make bullets. And gold. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And, oh, look at all the ore patches. Here, I'll bring the spectator camera actually like into my cockpit here so that we can take a look at this real nice up and close. Right there. There is a lot of little patches. All the other planets and such, there was like big patch of something, big patch of something. But here, it's these tiny little ones. Okay, so... Right, 45? No, that's not what I needed. I need two. There we go. So I'm, I'm highlighting that patch, which is... Gold. So there's a little patch of gold back that way. Okay. What about... One couple more things. This one. Silver back that way. Okay. And these two little guys here are gold, it seems. Okay, this is actually could be a useful planet. That little patch is some more silver. So we got some gold and silver here. Let's let's go find these. Because our little map there is going to real time update as we fly along. And it looks like, oh yeah, it looks, some of these ore patches are in the water. Yeah, the one right in front of me. It's in the water. Okay, now the big question. Does this thing float? Let's turn our dampeners off. Uh, nope. But we have a submarine. Let's go. <laughs> we are a submersible. This means this thing is truly all-terrain can literally go everywhere into space and down to the bottom of the ocean. Downside is I don't actually have any down thrusters for my atmospheric, so the only way I can go down is to ever so slowly sink, which is something. I, I suppose I can press forward by pointing downwards, but that is a uh, weird. But we will come on down, land on the ocean floor, and, uh, where's my ore detector? It is not detecting this ore. It seems to be, a few this way. I seem to be I, on top of it. I might have bonked something here. Did I damage anything? No? Maybe a piece of armor. Um, but I don't see an ore reading come up. Uh. Ah. Did I bonk my armor? Uh, I think we good. Yeah, we good. Yeah, nothing broken. Okay, we good. Oh, is that strange? I don't... I don't know where these ores are. I might have to just see if I can find any chunks of ore that are on land here. All right, so on to the next island. And if we take a look at our scan results, looks like we got something close by, just to our back left here a little bit. Whatever this is, it should be approximately this hilltop. Oh, looks like it's an iron deposit. It says that it's here. But I don't see it. And it's not showing up on my ore detectors. Oh, I wonder if it's really deep or something. 
Is that how this is gonna go? Is it an ore deposit at like the the base of this? I gotta dig down to it. Is that how this is? We can give it a try. We can head on over here. Activate our drill, and I believe if I right click, it's gonna make something big big enough for the ship. No? Oh, not big enough for the ship. Okay. We are going to have to upgrade, which will require a little bit of <laughs> salvaging, because I don't think we have enough steel plates. So instead of the drill right here, where it's not going to be able to cover the entire width of this thing, we're going to need to move this drill out. Um, I'll leave this here, because I need that for when I replace the drill back here later, but I think what we need to do is take one of these and drive it out forward so that we can use it. So let's go get some materials for conveyors. Now if we bring this far enough out, which I think should be here? Yeah, that should be able to go in front of... We should be able to do a drill and then drills on either side of that drill. And possibly another set of drills, but mm, I think three will do for now. As oh, I'm gonna need steel plate for this. I'm gonna use up all the last of my steel plate just to build this these drills on here. It's gonna be silly. All right, drills upgraded. Let's go see if I can find that iron again. Now the little deposit thing says it's this direction but I'm just gonna rub my face all over the edge of this hill here I got 50 meters I'm just gonna do a very tight path along the hill here because I'm not sure where oh well there we go <laughs> I was like why wasn't I detecting this earlier there's the iron Okay, okay, okay. Wow, oh God. Okay. Stop. Stop, ship. Okay, there we go. Um. Okay, where was it again? It was right in here, right? Wait, where'd it go? I detected it earlier. Oh. Why? <laughs> oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> it's... It must be like right on the edge of my detection range, but it looks like I should just be able to fly in right here and Those three drills are going to be just Just wide enough. Can the turrets slip through? Oh It is just wide enough. Oh Yeah, just bare <laughs> Like a glove. Holy crap. Okay. I am going to need to back out the way I came for sure and then widen this pathway a bunch if I'm going to get in here and get all this ore. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, there's the iron. Now we're going to back out. Help. Do not move the mouse. I do not want to get caught in this tunnel, which I think we are. Somewhat getting caught. Come on. Turrets are scraping against something. Okay, we're free. And now we're going to widen it. We'll probably have to add a couple more drills to this. <laughs> but at least we're going to be able to grab some iron here in a second. Yeah, resourcing! Let's check our cargo containers. Our two medium cargo containers are full. And our drills are starting to fill up as well, which is always a good thing. Although, ah, we accidentally grabbed the ground. <laughs> oh, okay. We might be over full. Oh, yes. Okay. We actually are over full. Interesting. <laughs> We need to get the weight out of those drills. Oh no. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, I think I'm going to have to uh, dump some stuff. Uh, we have our connector here. Connector out of the bottom. We can go to that bottom connector. And we can throw out. Ready. Let's give this a go. Nope. Yeah, we're going to have to lower a lot. Uh, alternatively, we could just cut the uh, drills off for a hot second. Because... I can always come back and salvage them. We just need to get a little bit of iron back to the base. So... I'll, I'll come back for you guys. <laughs> Don't worry. Gotta get that weight off my nose. There we go. Now we can fly. Just needed a bit more gyro power. And a bit more reverse thrusters for that level of that angle. But we can come in a bit flatter next time. So that wouldn't be an issue next time. We can come on in here for a parking. And we can back on in. And get our first load of resources into the dropship. And park. And we also are going to charge. Because I need a little bit more power on this Spectre. Always good to keep it topped up. In our basic refineries. Going to town, man. Yeah! That's what we needed. Excellent. So. We have our first little iron mine. GPS, new from current position, and Camino Iron. Excellent. We have our first iron mine with uh, some unfortunate <laughs> bits left behind, which I'll grab a little bit while I'm here. Ah, no worries. I'll get that salvaged here. Lickety split. So one of the next things that I should be focusing on here is we are, we are on a planet with atmosphere. So I should set up some wind turbines. As I I don't think my power reserves are doing that well right now. Um, take a look here. Batteries. The batteries on the um, Spectre are, are charging, which is what I set them to charge. But the batteries on the dropship are only at 1.1 of 3 max store power. So we're at one third power, which is not that good. We do have a fair amount of hydrogen. We could turn on our engine and start running that and burning our hydrogen for electricity, but I, don't, I would like to keep it as thruster fuel because we don't really have a good way to replenish our thruster fuel out here. We'd have to go all the way home to the Endor to replenish, which we could, but it would be annoying. So, I think we need to get some power going. And wind would obviously be a wonderful solution. Now, we do have the two different types of wind turbines. Uh, I don't think there was anything different about them. They're just different, like, what they look like. They're not any, one's not any better than the other. So, I think we are just going to go with, wait, can you, wind turbines are part of this cycle, right? Yeah, there they are. So, we have the two different types. Power output, 400. Power up at 400. Yeah, they're the same. I mean, bare minimum, we could just put one of them on top of here, so we're always having a trickle of power no matter what. So this thing never turns off. But I think we should actually build, like, a proper wind tower and then plug this into it and get some proper power coming in. So, bare minimum, let's just grab the components needed to plop a single turbine on the top here, and oh no, it went onto my bar and took away my freaking weller. Bastards. We'll plug it right into the uh, jump drive. 
Why not? And we will get at least some power input. Wind turbine, not going to be the best, but it's 187 kilowatts. Uh, which, yeah, we're fully depleted in 12 hours. These are fully charged. That's going. Oh, uh, because we're currently inputting 31. We're outputting 126. Because we are running refineries and stuff right now. Because of the iron we brought in. And the assemblers should also be going haywire. Unless they've already caught up with all of their bits and bobs that they were building. You already caught up with all your steel plate? Damn, you are! That was fast. Yeah, and there's the... <laughs> ah, there's the thruster components that we can't really make right now. So, I'm actually going to take that off of the assembler's uh, thing here. Zero thruster components, because... We don't have the materials for that. We'll make more of them in the future. Alright. So, let's grab some steel plate. Let's go plan this all out. Because I think what we can do is we can move over to this little mountaintop. And it would make it a little bit easier if I'm going to be mining the iron out. Uh, to do it from over here. And so... We can just grab the top of this mountain. And bada -bum. build up into the sky, and then we can. Uh, I have no, I can't remember how many apart these things need to be. Ah, let's just do it like, I don't know, 10 apart. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How you doing, Inspector? You are empty. Alright, let's take you over there. Ooh, wait. It was on recharge. Any damage? No. It looks like a little landing struts took it all. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. That could have been bad. If I hadn't have caught there and started rolling down the hill, that could have been very bad. <laughs> oh, my God. Woo! Okay. Okay, I don't run into the thing over here. Dear God. Alright, so then up at the top here, should be able to place our turbines. Yes. Yeah, we need to go get a lot of more material. Get these all built up. That's alright. We'll build, we'll bring over the, uh, dropship right now. Out of the way, tree. I'm landing here. And come on down. And if we move over, we can then see at what level I'll most likely be Connecting to this thing, which looks about to be that like fourth level or so. So then I can leave this thing hovering for a hot second. It's slowly pitching upwards, which is unsettling, but I'll pitch it downwards. And then I'll go. All right, run, 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 run. Move, 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 move. We need to build a connector. All right, deposit materials. Uh, lean off my build planner. Grab the materials for this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. My ship is slowly listing, pitching upwards. Got it built. Okay, let's get back in the ship. I'm burning fuel just hovering here. We are relatively flat there. We'll move on over and connect. Bring your nose down a little bit to the horizon and connect. And our wind turbine 
kicks back into power. Yeah! And we see all the other wind turbines up there. Excellent. Alright, let's go build them up. And man, these turbines are spinning. It's great. Let's go see how much power they're making. Is it looks pretty good. Wind turbine. Uh, the blade on top of here, not spinning that fast, making 150. But these blades are making uh, only 150 again. They've got optimal clearance, so I don't know. Maybe that's just the maximum they can do. Unfortunately, but at least I have some power coming in. We can check our batteries, and they're recharging. Slowly, but it is positive, which is good. Uh, I don't think we are actually running our refineries anymore. Nope, they've processed all of that iron. So, this is when I'm just sitting by and not doing anything. Uh, but we'll have to get some more power going. Unfortunately, it seems that the wind turbines are not a very useful way to do this. But, that is alright. They do have a thing about wind speed here, so who knows? Maybe we get some bad weather and we can get some good windstorm. And they will pop up to 400 kilowatts, which would be amazing. But at least what I can do is just continue to expand outwards with these. As... Hmm, I want to check something. So they're all at about 150 right now. This was making giving me some troubles in the past here with through wind turbines near each other. Let me put one upside down here. What's going to happen? Is one of these turbines going to slow down a lot? Or is this turbine also going to give me 150 and that's free? Free real estate. It's the new one. It's number six. It's giving 130. All these are giving 150. Is they, they're maintaining their 150, and this is just a free 130, so... I mean, it's something. That's for sure. I just put another three there for free. Not have to expand the tower at all. I like it. And with all those ones online... Oh! These ones are... 175. Wait, what? Did the other turbines increase a bit? Oh, yeah, they're they're doing some weird things. <laughs> they're going to 190. All right, I'm okay with this. Give me some more power. Give me more power, Mr. Turbines. That gives my batteries more charge. All right, we got 232 going in, and we got currently 35 going out, so we have about 200 spare. And if we look at our two refineries, yeah, they need 300 each, so, yeah. I was going to say, like, oh, could I run my two refineries on 200 power? Uh, no. <laughs> I couldn't even run one of them. I need an extra 660 to run my two refineries. Good to know. But... We do have a little bit of power coming in now. And I should put a battery at the base of this little thing here. Just so that it has a little bit of power storage. When I leave this thing, we'll, it will stay online for the conceivable future. There we go. This is fully recharged in 14 hours. Excellent. And now that at least this thing is plugged in... And it is slowly recharging. We, we might uh, expand this, maybe send it up another 10 or 20 blocks and put another arm of four out there or something. But we can investigate more of the nearby area with the Spectre because there was a couple other little resource spots. And let me just bring the Spectator camera right into the cockpit here. 
there's this guy who is right beside us, which we are reading as an iron, which is correct. And uh, we should be able to check. Oh, do I have to do another scan? Scan! Can I not move my little thing here? Not updating. Why are you not updating? Are you even connected to the ground, Mr... No, you're not! That would be why. <laughs> we kind of need to land with him first. There we go. Now it works. And I've got to find my, my place. And there. All right. So these two out in the water over there are silver, it seems. Because they are... What, 90 degrees to the left of me? So they are down this way. Probably in the water. Yeah. Unfortunately. And there is one ore deposit, though, slightly this way. Which could be above ground. Like, above the water line. What are you? Is a very good question. Uh, this other ore deposit is more silver, and then over to this other guy here, he is <gasps> magnesium. Oh, there's magnesium nearby. Okay, we got to find that. We got to find that magnesium. This way, this way. We have no drills, but we can uh, fix that in the future. Uh, iron rock, that's useful. Please don't be out in the water. Oh, I might be on the edge of this cliff here. Ah, tree! God damn it, tree. Getting in my way. Yeah, it might be the edge of this cliff here. Wait, I thought I saw it for a second. I thought I saw a yellow text. Oh, am I going crazy, or did I actually see yellow text there? <laughs> oh, it's like, stop, go back, freeze frame it. Did I actually see what I think I saw? Even so, it says I'm right on top of it. But it could also be further down the cliffside here. As we slowly scrape our way down the cliffside, looking for a little magnesium name to pop up and give me hope. <gasps> there it is! Oh god, there it is! Magnesium! Magnesium! My first magnesium deposit! What are we, like, 20 episodes? Okay, actually, I'm gonna go check. What episode are we on now? What, 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 finished recordings? What was my well, last episode? It was 19. This is episode 20. It's 20 episodes to find magnesium. Yeah, baby! We found it! Yes! Oh, I can finally equip myself for combat. We can finally go and just get into combat now. Yes! Yes! Okay. Oh, this makes me really happy. <laughs> Camino Magnesium. Oh, baby. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy right now. This is, we picked the perfect island to drop into. Iron and magnesium, both above water. Oh, yes, baby. Okay. Let's head on back here. And... Ooh, how am I going to connect up now? Yeah, well, this thing is connected for power. I can't really dock. I need to do is I need to build out a little thing and then build out a little upwards tick so this thing can, this big boy can land on it directly. And then I can do a 180 and then I can have the, uh, 
um, side connectors sticking out for me to back into with the Spectre. That's how it'll work. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's get that all set up, and that'll be the end of this episode. I'm also going to move it a bit further away from the tower so that it's not interfering with anything related to the tower and its power generation. We'll take it all the way out to here, put that upwards, and we'll go get the materials for it. Now we can move the big boy into position. Alright, we're good. Attach. Thrust this way. And we'll just do a quick 180 over here. Uh, or even, uh, or even I can just face it. I can have the, uh, connector off of that side. That's fine. Just line myself up with the tower. Actually, yeah, that makes me kind of easier. I can just line up with the tower. There we go. Bring it on down. And good. Connector there. Lined up. To horizon park. There we go. That's better. And now we can park up the Spectre. Parking engaged. Uh, <laughs> I'll leave my batteries on auto <laughs> to not have that issue happen ever again. And uh, check to see how we're doing. How's my various wind power now that we moved a little bit further away? Still 150 on there. All these guys are at 150, 140. That's fine. They're bringing in an okay amount of power. In total, we're getting 1.5 megawatts coming in. And our batteries are recharging, which is the most important part. Of course, I will expand upon uh, these uh, various power bits. We'll probably do another layer. Maybe go like, again, 10, 10 20 blocks up. And then do another little cross and another double stacked uh, wind turbines there and uh, get even more power coming in. At the same time, we'll uh, repair the, the Spectre with some more drills and go get some more iron and get some beautiful magnesium as we can finally start making all the bullets we will ever need. Um, probably, probably we can just slap down a uh, large refinery down here on the ground or something and uh, refine that magnesium on planet so you don't have to haul it back up to the Fregna, which is where? Oh, it's way over there, 289 kilometers out in space. But we are on another planet. And uh, I don't know, it's giving me season four vibes now. <laughs> it's like it's a water planet. Am I going to build boats again for another, like, 60 episodes or something? <laughs> It'd be funny if this season just devolved into just me being on this planet for the rest of it and just replaying season four with airplanes and stuff. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. But no, we're not going to do that. We're going to resource. We're going to search some of these islands. We're going to fly around the planet a couple times just to see what's here. And we're going to head back out and uh, continue on our journey. But, probably be here for a couple episodes at least. But that's going to be f it for now. Thanks for watching. And good hunting out there, fellow space engineers. Oh, I might be on the edge of this cliff here. Ah, tree! So, one of the next things I should uh, focus on, now that I've got a little bit of iron coming in, is we are on a platinum... Okay, I can't speak. 